So uh, we will start with the basics of HTML today. And uh, so let's start. Yes. Uh, so Nandini, the tools we need are like browser, Chrome or Firefox, or uh, IDE, we need VS Code. Do you have installed VS Code? Yes, on your yes, machine? yes. I have VS Code. OK. And, and you are familiar with the uh, little code, bit, right? little bit. Okay, okay, fine. So firstly, we'll see the uh, web programming introduction, like how will be the website uh, and uh, what should be the approach of ours to towards the web, like developing any website. So uh, firstly, we need to uh, study the architecture of the website that, that things are uh, being provided by the uh, organization itself. We don't need to take care of that, but uh, we should have uh, some basic knowledge about what should be our website, uh, like what's the structure of the website. So basically, uh, website is having a structure of like header, nav bar, main, and then footer. So HTML5 has a, a new introduced uh, tags that are especially uh, developed for the specific uh, things like in inside the uh, now we can have a navigation links so uh, in in the in the footer we should have the uh, different different links about the website like uh, here we can see about the if if the website is about the company employees like the what what's the team size of the employee is mentioned in the about section like history of the website is mentioned uh, what are the services they are providing having separate separate tabs and having uh, a one basic structure for the specific website okay so that's the thing uh, about the html uh, HTML is introduced in 1989 or 1993. As said, in 1989, there was a paper published by the team Berners-Lee. Uh, he was facing some issue uh, to show the content. So that's why he have, uh, published one paper. On, and on the basis of that, in 1993, he introduced the HTML. So uh, the journey starts from there. And uh, why, why we call it as a hypertext markup language? Because uh, through the HTML, uh, we will have the structured content, uh, which, is, uh, which, we, uh, which is shown on the website. Like whatever we write inside the body tag, it appears on the web. And it's having the specific structure. So for that, uh, for that reason, the uh, HTML is introduced. So why we need the structured formatting? So if we if we see any random text, any paragraph, so that should have some meaning uh, and uh, it should have some user interface that every every user should be uh, like feel or uh, it, it can be uh, <clears throat> differentiate the things of the website. So for that reason, uh, in, in HTML, uh, we will have different, different tags and uh, with the help of that, we develop the website. So what are the tags and elements? Uh, tags are like uh, covered with the uh, angle bracket and yeah. the, uh, the tags with the tags with the content, we call it as an element. Yeah. We will see it in the like coding uh, way, then you will able to understand it better. Okay. So uh, it's uh, there is having some basic uh, tags versus for formatting tags. So HTML comes with the uh, some basic uh, tags and some formatting tag. Formatting tag we said like uh, with that we we can formatting the content. So here are some basic tags. Uh, firstly, we will we'll do one thing. We will uh, go with the 
HTML file introduction first. So uh, we will be having uh, some folder structure here. So like uh, here I have created one folder, Angular batch, uh, uh, 18 November. And uh, under that, uh, we have one folder, HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript introduction. Under that, uh, we have one asset folder. In Inside that asset folder, we will be having the JavaScript file, the CSS file, and uh, uh, there is a one index.html file as well. So I will show it on the file, then you will be able to understand it better. So here is the introduction, today's lecture introduction. Under that, there will be an assets folder. Inside the assets, uh, there will be CSS, images, and JavaScript folder. And uh, here is the index.html. So in, inside the index.html, we, we are going to link these CSS uh, and JavaScript file so that we will able to uh, develop the website. Okay. So uh, firstly, uh, can you uh, like uh, make the folder structure first on your PC? That means we have to create one folder. Yes, the folder, uh, folder. one main folder having the course name, mm -hmm. then uh, there will be one subfolder which is having HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Under that, uh, we will having the separate, separate folders. Uh, like our first lecture is introduction. So inside the introduction, there will be an assets and uh, outside that there will be an index.html file. Uh, you can, can you share your screen uh, if possible or if, if it's okay, you can make it on yourself. Uh, please let me know once you're done with the folder structure. A Visual Studio is not opening, sir. Uh, can you share your screen? Just a second. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
you are sharing the screen, right? Mm. Uh, there is a share screen option in green tick up arrow. Where? Uh, it might be on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, at, uh, at bottom of the screen, uh, in the middle, there is a uh, green button, share. Share. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And after after click on on to that, uh, there are options. Uh, which uh, uh, miss, do you need to share entire screen or any particular window? So just click on entire window, uh, entire screen. Okay. Okay. Yes, your screen is visible. Uh, under the uh, click on that angular uh, number 18 uh, make one folder inside just click on it and uh, there is a folder sign you can see yes it's step too uh, much time. yes you can write html css and javascript No, no, uh, one common folder will be HTML, comma. you can rename that. Right click, right click on that. And JS. Enter. Uh, click on that folder again. Uh, make one another folder inside that. Uh, click on the plus folder. Yes. So uh, write introduction. What? Introduction. Yes, enter. Uh, under that, you have to create one asset folder. It is a subfolder. Subfolder of yes, yes. jar. Yes. Uh, click on the introduction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now uh, create one more folder. Uh, with the plus sign only. Okay. Yes. It will create the folder uh, inside the under the introduction folder. Assets, yes. Assets. Uh, it is E only T S. Assets. Yes. Under that, you have to make a uh, uh, sorry CSS. Click on that asset. You have to follow the same thing, like click first on the asset and then make folder. Mm -hmm. uh, JS. Yes. Enter. Now uh, click on the asset because we have to uh, make three folders under asset only, yes. Mm -hmm. CSS images I images okay so click on asset again yes hmm. you have to make one file uh, make one file no folder uh, in the left side of the folder, there is a uh, file sign, right? Plus. Mm. Yes. Uh, Index.html. What? Index, I-N-D-E-X. Index dot? HTML. 
enter yes uh, can you right click on that uh, angular november 18 hmm. okay so here we have a folder structure like introduction under that there, there will be assets folder css images javascript and then index.html file okay so the same uh, structure we are going to follow for each and every lecture there will be uh, tomorrow there will be another uh, title uh, instead of introduction and you have to make uh, another folder to under the html css okay, okay. And uh, you can rename that uh, uh, asset name to assets. A double S E T S. A. Uh, the spelling is correct. Just add S to the end of the asset. Assets. Yes. Yes. Is it okay? Okay. So I'm sharing my screen now. All set, your folder structure is created. So same folder structure I'm having. CSS images, JavaScript, and outside of that index of HTML. Okay. My screen is visible, right? Yes. So inside the index.html, if you open your index.html, it, it will be blank. So using the uh, okay. shift and uh, shift one or exclamatory, okay. you can you can create the uh, HTML definition. So it contains the doc type HTML, which is having like we can say the it, which tells the document type which is HTML and the and the, sorry, and the version will be HTML5. Okay. okay. It tells us the version, which is HTML5. and the document type is HTML, hypertext markup language. So it supports the language English, HTML language is equals to English. Inside the head tag, we have some meta tags. So here is a char set is equals to UTF-8 meta tag, which means that it supports all the characters that are uh, like nearby all the character in the world which are supported by the this uh, meta care set UTF-8. Under the UTF-8, all the characters are comes, okay? Uh, and uh, one another meta tag is Hello. content Internet Explorer is equals to H. So it shows the Internet Ex Explorer is equals to uh, H and uh, HTTP equivalent is XUA compatible. Again, uh, the third one meta tag is viewport. It tells us the like uh, it it exists for the responsiveness of the web page. Like it it tells width of the width is equal to device width. Means whatever the device like uh, our website will render on uh, any device, the width is equal to device width, or uh, that initial scale will be one. Like uh, you have observed that uh, you must have observed that on the uh, web uh, like on the web browser if we go and uh, if you go to the any tab there is a zoom option here right so the zoom is 100 percent okay zoom is 100 percent that means in in our uh, in our html file it sets the scale is equals to 1.0 
that means it is uh, zoomed to the 100%. Okay. The title, our HTML file renders on the web. It comes with the title. Like here we can see a new tab or post attendee zoom. These, these titles comes from the HTML file. Like if if we render this file on the web, Okay. So, it Arina, comes with the title okay. document. Yeah, I guess Sipra also has joined through her laptop. Uh, you can just check whether she also have created the same folder structure so that uh, from next lecture onwards, uh, both will be on the same page. Yes, yes, sure. Actually, I have tried to connect with her. Uh, hello, Sipra. Can you hear me? I have created the folder, but the file structure I didn't create. Okay, okay. Uh, I will show you once again. Can I share my screen? Yes, yes, sure. It is asking. Uh, okay, okay. I, I need to stop the share first. Yes, now you can able to share the screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Uh, under that, click on that Angular November 18 folder. Uh, create one folder with the. Uh, you can see the plus sign of the folder, right? Uh, slightly right. No, uh, that thing will create the file like index.html or demo.javascript that same text file will be created and with the second logo we can uh, able to create the folder okay so click on the second yes uh, create uh, like uh, html comma css and js Okay, enter. Uh, click on click on that folder. Okay, and, and uh, create one new folder again. Assets. Uh, type asset assets. Yes, okay, enter. Uh, create one file, okay, no issues. Uh, firstly, click on the assets. Okay, and create one file index.html. Yes, right. Index.html. Index Generally, in each project, uh, we use the same file with the index.html. So it will be good practice if we write the same name. Okay. Enter. Uh, again, click on the assets. Uh, create one folder. Folder. Uh, CSS. and create one more folder you have to create three folder actually create on uh, <clears throat> click on assets js js means uh, it's having the javascript okay. yes enter again click on assets and create one more folder uh, images so whatever the images we are going to use, it will come under this folder. 
the CSS files will come under uh, the CSS folder and uh, JavaScript come under JavaScript folder. And all are linked to the index.html. We'll see it. Okay, the uh, your folder structure is ready now. Okay. okay, fine. So I'm sharing my screen. You have to stop the screen sharing first. My screen is visible, right? Yes, I did not. That type, yeah. Inside the head. I'm sorry. You, you have regarding the meta. Can you explain one more time? Yes, yes, sure. The meta type viewport. Uh, this actually uh, about this meta tag uh, every means most of the interviewer ask the question like uh, write down the viewport tag for me so you need you need to mug up these things or uh, firstly you need to understand these things and then you have to remember that this tag is like this so uh, the meaning of this tag is like uh, its name is a viewport viewport is basically what the uh, you are able to see my cursor so the left side of my screen to the right side is what my viewport okay, okay. so whenever our uh, web page is rendered on the any uh, browser so uh, its width is equals to device width that means i have the lenovo laptop and uh, my width is around uh, uh, 1400 so the the HTML page will be rendered as a width is equals to my device width. Okay. And the mm -hmm. initial scale of my page will be one. That means the it's not zoom, it's zoom is equals to 100 percent. Okay. <clears throat> so if I zoom this, you can see here 250 percent or 100 percent. Yes. The default will be 100%. If I reset this, it will go to the 100%. Okay. Mm, so the title. Title will be, this is our introduction uh, lecture. So we will put the title introduction. So the title appears here. Okay, but these are the basic things. Like, uh, uh, have you observed or not? I don't know. We can make the initially our index.html is vacant with the shift and uh, one key. We can able to get the definition and the meta tags. Okay, it comes with the body and HTML uh, and head tag. So inside the head, we can attach our CSS file. Okay. We can attach our CSS file inside the body. We can attach our JavaScript file. So firstly, we will uh, attach our CSS file. Where is our CSS file? Inside the CSS folder. I have already created the style.css. Uh, you should also create under the CSS folder, create one file. I thought, I think I have dropped the call. Some internet issue. Not able Am to I work. audible? Currently, you are audible. Okay. So, uh, 
how to link the CSS file in, in HTML. So the path will be like assets, our CSS file, then our style.css, right? Mm -hmm. We are in the index.html. Where is our index.html file? It is inside assets, right? So the path will be assets. We call it as a relative path. One is an absolute path. Second is a relative path. So uh, whatever the path we uh, write for linking the, our JavaScript file or our uh, CSS file or any images, we call it as a relative path. Okay, I will tell you the what we, what is the absolute path in later. Okay, so automatically uh, it's suggesting uh, it's giving suggestion that after assets there will be an CSS folder, and there will be our file style dot CSS. Okay, so our uh, CSS file has been linked here. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can add here the CDNs. CDNs are what? Uh, if we uh, have you uh, heard about the Bootstrap? Bootstrap is one kind of library or uh, yes. to design or uh, yes. Yes, yes, we heard about the Bootstrap. Uh, okay. Uh, that's great. So uh, the bootstrap CDN we attach here. Uh, there uh, it it uh, we will get it. We just uh, copy the CDN and attach here so that we are able to uh, enjoy the features of the bootstrap. Okay. Uh, I have attached the CSS file. There can be multiple CSS file here. We, there is nothing like we can add only one CSS file. We can add uh, 10 or hundreds of CSS file. That's not necessary, but we can add. Okay. Similarly, uh, how script SRC. So under the SRC, you can, you can see the difference. Uh, for the link link the CSS file, we use a href tag, and for for the script, we use a src. Your voice is breaking. Not able to audio. Hello. to another. Am I audible now? Yes. Okay. So uh, similarly, we can add. I will repeat once again the script tag, like the how to add the JavaScript file. This is our body tag. Inside, at the end of the body tag like inside but at the end we can add our javascript file assets our assets folder inside that our js and inside the js intro.js the it's suggesting me that intro.js uh, it is already inside our js folder i have already created that okay so now our uh, css file is linked we know how to link the javascript file so now we are ready to like uh, do the coding coding part uh, the first thing we will see is uh, the basic tags, basic tags are like heading tag. We will start with the heading tag. So under the heading tag, there are H1 to H6 tags. You might aware about that. Uh, yes. 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 sir. Okay. So uh, H1 is having bigger font. 
till the age six, uh, uh, we we will have the uh, like lesser, lesser lesser fonts. So if I write here H one, this. Uh, hi, Shipra. Uh, can you tell your experience, like, uh, uh, like what things you know about the HTML and CSS? I don't know much in HTML CSS, but I was uh, studying in online and HTML and CSS. Okay, okay. So you have not done any development uh, under HTML and CSS, right? No. So I have right here, this is H1 tag, this is H2 tag, this is S3, this is S4. The pattern of uh, every HTML element is like, we have one tag which comes with the open and uh, closed uh, angle bracket. So this is H1 tag, we write, uh, which is wrapped inside the angle bracket. And uh, again, this is similarly H1 tag, but we are denoting with the slash because we are ending this tag here. Okay. It start with the H1, uh, open close angle bracket. It ends with the H1, open close angle bracket, bracket with the slash. Okay. So that means our tag is end here and uh, we can start another tag or we can write anything uh, after that. So we will see firstly, uh, how will it look like on the browser? Okay, so firstly, we have written the H1 tag. So H1 tag, it appears as a bigger, okay. We can, if we inspect here, Minute. We can able to see the styles, whatever the styles we applied, uh, it appears here. Okay. Here we can see the H1 tag specifications. As I inspect, don't bother about the this in, inspection thing. You will uh, get familiar with it. But I'm just trying to uh, like uh, convince you or uh, uh, tell you that this is H1 tag. It it renders with the with these specifications. Okay. Uh, HTML have already written something for this, and if we only we have to use H1 tag, and uh, it will comes with this uh, this font. Like you can see here, font size. You are able to see, right? Font size. Yes, it's very small, sir. Just a minute. Now you are able to see, right? H1 tag here. Yes. So uh, as soon as I inspect here, H1 tag, mm. uh, I can see it's having property display block, 
font size you just uh, need to think about the font size here only the display thing or we will uh, see it later you will able to understand in better way so uh, firstly the font size 2 em basically em is like if we converted in it into the pixel it approximately 16 px so if it's 2 em that means 16 into 2 32 px is what this h1 size okay you have heard about the pixel right yes yes so uh, html have taken care about this like the font size but also we can customize this font size using the css okay. simply if i i think i will not will do see if i change this font size to the 50 px it will go bigger now it's 114px but having some default font size that is 32 if i remove or add this 32 is there any change in h1 h1 tag like the content You are able to see, right? I am uh, adding or removing the font size. Hmm. But the uh, this adding is not changing. That means what? The pixel size is 32px. Okay, similarly, uh, we, are, we are using this, uh, uh, these tags in our future development like uh, the motto behind is, is uh, the h1 is having h1 to h5 uh, the h1 tag having bigger font h2 having lesser font and uh, in website if there is a, a bigger kind of heading then basically we will use the h1 tag the heading size is lesser then accordingly we will prefer h1 h2 s3 h4 h5 no worries if we can use h5 as well if we use h5 then we just need to customize the font size of h5 like if i give the font size 50px our h5 is also bigger now okay, you have any questions like uh, are you able to understand or relate with me you can share or uh, it, it's looking very basic to you. Or you can use Hindi or Marathi or in any language, then you can use it. Sir, uh, so I just want to Sipra and Nandini, uh, you have to speak up because uh, if you are not able to understand, and, uh, I, I, I understand totally from start to end. Okay, okay. In this specific part, I totally understand what we did. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no issues. Uh, what about you, Sipra? Yes, I also understand. Okay, so uh, whenever, I mean, like uh, communication should be two ways. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, at some point, if you lost, then you will not be able to relate the next point also. Mm. Okay. So <clears throat> please make sure uh, you will ac um, acknowledge with. Uh, whether you are able to understand or not. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we'll see the basic introduction. Like uh, you must having the curiosity that how will we link with the CSS file now, right? So uh, using the class or ID attribute or element attribute uh, or element, we can access the CSS files uh, properties in our HTML. So uh, I will not add any class or ID. I will explain it later. But uh, if I go into our uh, style.css file and simply if I need to uh, add some CSS to it, have you, uh, when I have inspect that thing and it appears like H5 and the curly braces, right? Mm -hmm. So similarly, 
we can uh, <clears throat> sorry we can <clears throat> we can add add the just give me one second we can add the css to our h5 element if i go inside our <clears throat> css file and if are i created css file here or you are created previously yes i have i have already created uh, you mm -hmm. can also create using uh, just see if i click on the css folder mm -hmm. okay and uh, if i click on the file then style one i will i will create the style one dot css because i already created style dot css the name you can give as as you want but the proper way is style dot css okay the style one dot css is also wrong name but for understanding purpose i am writing it so if i write here h5 it's giving me error because uh, it was not proper as i uh, created the style one dot css i need to add it inside the index dot html previously it was style dot css but uh, i am changing it i am changing it to the style one dot css mm -hmm. and now i can write under style one dot css so our h5 tag open curly braces inside that you can write the uh, property and its value the css properties are like firstly i will introduce only font size here font size if i write the font size 50 px to the h5 uh, firstly uh, before saving this we can see our uh, our h5 is looking like this but already i have given the font size 50 px i will revert that okay so our h5 is negligible now it's not visible to like not properly visible to us so i decide that uh, i need to give font size of 50 px to my h5 tag and uh, i need to add some color to it color color will be black okay as i no so already color is black so i will change it okay color is not changed right uh we will see the html color as well like uh, we can add the color uh, using the hex or using the rgba con combination but uh, if i add the color green here so the this h5 tag is having the font size 50 px and its color is green okay so simply we have uh, added our uh, style one dot css to the html and we write here some css and it's linked to the our html file and our html file is rendered on the this web browser which is a chrome and it's showing the content it's showing the content which we have customized in css file like color and the font size okay these things are clear right Yes, sir. Okay. So in our syllabus, what we need to cover the architecture of website, uh, different technologies in making the website. What, what are the different technologies? Like technologies, we can say HTML is itself one technology or css javascript we are covering the angular typescript we will add the bootstrap 
uh, we will learn the flex. These are the technologies we are using, okay, to making a website. That's the meaning of this. And uh, uh, we have covered the history of HTML. So HTML tag versus element. Uh, what are the HTML tags and attributes? So we will see this topic, HTML tags and attribute. We have already seen the tags, like here I write H1 tag, H2 tag. If I use the P tag here, I will write it manually, open bracket, close bracket. The VS code is <laughs> automatically writing for me. So, yeah, under the P tag, this is a content. When I have write the P, P tag only, there was no content. It called a tag, the simple tag. This is called a tag. This is interview question, okay? So what are the tags? What are the elements? What are the attributes? So if we uh, need to differentiate about the uh, element tags and attribute, this is tag. Okay, if I write any content inside the tag, it will be called as an element. Okay, so if I write under the P tag, something like this is for intro lecture, intro session. Okay, so what it calls, this is now element. And what are the attributes? Attributes are like, which are we write inside the first and open and close angle bracket, which is, is it visible to you or it's uh, small? Yeah, it is visible. Okay, so wh where my P tag is starts, inside the P tag, I can write the attributes. Attributes are like what? Firstly, we will see the style attribute. Style attribute is what? Uh, you remember, we have rename our file, the style.css file, right? Style mm -hmm. means what? The Any CSS you want to give, you can give uh, here itself in the HTML file as well. This is an external file. We call it as a external CSS. This is a internal CSS. And uh, one is an embedded CSS that we write an inside the head under the style tag. We will see it like step by step. The fir uh, first day should not be like <coughs> very like vegetable. So uh, inside the style, we call it as an attribute. Style is what? It is an attribute. Inside that we can write anything like anything means what under the CSS, what are the, whatever the things comes under the CSS, we can apply it here itself. So color, color will be blue. Uh, I will add here font size, 20 px. Uh, what I will add, I can add the background. and the content. This is content with style attribute. Okay, if I save this, we Here you can see this is content with style attribute and uh, its background color and the content. So you understand what is an element, what is a tag and what is an attribute. We have seen only one attribute here, style attribute. We will see like as, as soon as we go further in our uh, uh, session. So we will introduce different, different tags.
Okay. So, uh, you understand, right? Yes, sir. Difference. So, uh, wh uh, what we will call the, like, what is a tag then? Can you explain me? Anyone? The normal <coughs> tag is like, uh, if you will uh, type P, that is normal uh, tag. And inside the P tag, if you will uh, write some content, then it's called element. And inside the P tag, uh, if you will give some inside style, then it will got the style attribute. Yes, right. Style, style, or we call it it. it this style comes under the attribute. The attribute. there will be some one more attribute. I will tell the title. Okay, title will be this is P tag. If I save this and uh, go on the browser and if I hover so you can see this is a p tag the title is appears here right mm -hmm. so uh, for any user uh, <clears throat> we have to give proper information about the tag <clears throat> so we can put it under the title attribute Okay, there are a few attributes like uh, disabled uh, or uh, in case of uh, anchor tag, we use uh, alt. We'll see the anchor tag as well here. href is also an attribute we can say. Okay, so uh, previously I have mentioned this is a relative path, right? Asset CSS style dot CSS. Yes. So if I write here google.com or uh, I have write any website here, that will be our absolute path. Okay. So you can see as I click on that anchor link, we are redirect to what? The Google page. So similarly, uh, this is a absolute path I have given google.com and I'm able to redirect on Google page, right? So uh, this takes between the anchor tag appears on the web. And as soon as, as I click, uh, we can jump to the any URL that we are hitting. So uh, some more attributes uh, inside these are target. There are types like target blank, target parent. The blank will be open the new tab. If I click on the, uh, like uh, if I haven't write this target and uh, I have clicked on the Google link, the the link was open in what? In the same tag, right? In same tab. Uh, uh, you are able to relate with me, right? What I'm saying is, uh, we will wrap the session, no worries. Uh, this is our first day, but uh, just uh, try to be alert and be happy. So it will be easy for you and me as well. So what I'm saying is we will wrap the session in uh, two, three minutes or five minutes. Okay. So if I click on the Google link here, the tab is opening in the 
same tab, right? This yes. tab was previously our HTML file, that document. But this tab is opening. If I click on the Google, the same uh, page is reloading and our uh, new tab is opening, right? Yes. So our target, if I say, I, I haven't saved this file, the target is equals to blank. If I save this file and uh, go on the web, and if I refresh, if I click on the Google, it target to the new blank tab, right? Yeah. So that's the meaning of the target. Also, there is one, uh, uh, there are uh, some attributes here that we can use under the anchor tag. We, we will see it in like uh, next session or whenever it comes like okay so can you share this ppt with me yes it's sure i just want After. to go through theory uh, sorry i just want to go through first theory yes you can uh, actually uh, you can ask me any question that uh, arise in your mind uh, how you are running this server in your browser in <clears throat> the terminal Okay, so uh, firstly, na, uh, you have to go inside this extension in your VS Code. Okay, so search here, open in browser. Uh, Nandini and Sipra, you can simultaneously try that on your machine so that uh, you will also get that extension. Uh, you are able to see the extension right here, the extension yes, tab yes. that I'm hovering. Yes, just click on that and type open in browser. In extension, you are typing open in browser? Yes, there, there will be one search bar, right? Yes. Here, the small search bar. Can you share your screen? Uh, that will be easy. Yes, uh, right there, open in browser. Open in. Uh, here are many extensions that VS Code provide us to simplify our day-to-day uh, -day coding life. So the first result is appearing open in browser is having uh, 3.5 stars, but uh, the 6.7 million uh, downloads are there. First tab only, open in browser, yes. Click on the install. Okay, you can close that tab now. This one? Yes. Uh, now, uh, right click on that index.html. Uh, go to the bottom, very bottom, uh, open in default browser and open in other browser. There are two options. If you click on the default browser, uh, the index.html will load in the, your default browser. Click on that. Okay, you are redirected to uh, this HTML file and you are able to see the result. So uh, it is not continuously running application right now. So we have to, as soon as uh, we write some code and we save it, we have to come to the browser first and then we need to reload that. Yes. After that only we are able to see the results. Uh, but when we start with the Angular, we will uh, like, like no, no need to do these things. It will take care of Angular only. Okay. Um, so, anything, any questions uh, other than this? Nandini, you are able to, uh, like, you have downloaded that extension? No. You can download, you can share your screen. Okay, I have to, yes, you can share. Second. Okay. 
एक्चुअली मैंने विजुअल कोड भी बंद कर दिया था तो इट विल टेक टाइम बिकॉज आई एम यूजिंग कोरा थ्री नो इशूज नो इशूज Nandini, what you can do, you can just pay for the recording afterwards. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, we are going to share the recording. Okay. 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 Yeah. No issue, sir. Yeah. I guess. Uh, uh, Avinash, uh, can we stop here today for today? Yes, I think. Uh, no, yeah. Not to rush much. Yeah. 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 Yeah